What's going on guys, Culprit here, and welcome back once again to my mailbag series, this is episode 15. Uh, for those who don't know, my mailbag series is a series where I answer your questions. Uh, the best way to submit those questions to me to be answered would be in the comments of this video or any other mailbag series video. When it's time for me to make a new one, I sit down, I go back to the previous mailbag, I read through the comments first. If I don't get enough questions there, I might visit uh, Twitter, email, all that stuff. All this stuff's viable, but I'll, I'll warn you, you know... YouTube messaging is bad, Twitter scrolls so fast I lose it, uh, email, those types of things. The best way to make sure that your question is seen, remembered, and possibly considered at time of creation of the next video is in the comments down below. If you want to be anonymous, please just, I would say email would probably be the best way to do that and indicate that in the email, otherwise I will show it on the screen like I do with all these. Um, I went back, I looked, I have five questions today, so I'm not going to give you the long drawn out answers, I'm going to try not to, I say that every week, but I always manage to do so. Um, and I also want to introduce uh, and talk about a little something first, there will be a friendly fire podcast tomorrow uh, today is Friday tomorrow will be Saturday we usually do it on Friday nights we've pushed it to Saturday night reason being it's my birthday today today Friday is my birthday uh, my wife wants to do something go out to dinner and stuff so I wanted to leave Friday open because uh, I figured something would come up it did so as we were kind of planning the, the stream and the, and the, and the, sh uh, the podcast I just moved it to Saturday. I'm going to be joined by Puppy, of course, as always. Uh, and this time it's going to be a Company Series of Weight only show. We're going to be just relaxing, having some fun, lots of shenanigans. Um, Gamer Breen and Agent Eggroll, two longtime Company Series of Weight guys, two big personalities in Company Series of Weight. I'm excited to get these two uh, meshed up. Uh, mix in some drinks and Puppy and I, and it should be a really good time. I'm looking forward to it quite a bit. It's going to be a birthday cast. We're going to have some fun. We're going to talk about games. We're going to talk about Naval Strike. Obviously, we haven't officially covered that on the podcast yet. Um, some other games, H1N1, um, Ghost Recon Phantoms, these types of things. And then just some general gaming questions, kind of cultivate conversation, have some fun, have some laughs. There's going to be tons of laughs. Um, I think there's going to be a fashion fight. <laughs> Egg Roll has challenged me. I told him I had something fancy picked out uh, to drink and to wear, and he told me he was going to outdo me. So we're going to let you guys decide that. And uh, it should be... Uh, Lots of lulls, guys. Really, uh, I'm looking forward to it. it. Should be a good time. Um, and basically, we'll interact with the chat a lot. We're not gonna have a f you know a very focused format because I want these guys to have room to be to be who they are because they're pretty funny guys. I enjoy the enjoy hanging out with them and, and enjoy their stuff. So um, don't miss that. 10 p.m. Eastern uh, Saturday. It's gonna be at my Twitch channel, which is located down below. You can always find the links all you need down below in the description. Um, probably kick off a little earlier, and we typically go later as we do a post show as well. If we're having a good time, we're just hanging out. It's all about hanging out, hanging with some buddies, talking video games, hanging with you guys in chat. It, it, it's a fun night. I always look forward to it. Um, with that business aside, let's get right into the questions. Uh, question number one is from Kill Street Gaming. Uh, what do you think about Battlefield 5 potentially having a World War II theme? I haven't officially heard anything about this, and I'm 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 not into that. Uh, I think I've talked about it before. I think World War II has been done enough. Uh, I'm older than most of you guys probably, though. I'm I'm, I'm gonna be 36. I am 36 today, so uh, World War II has been done a lot in my gaming life. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm a history nut. I, I enjoy you know everything about the World War Twos and ones and. And in historic combat, I guess I'll say, uh, but I like the contemporary uh, genre, the setting, the, the modern setting. I think it gives developers much more um, flexibility. It allows them to go back and take an old gun uh, and use that, and maybe bring that in. Uh, it also allows them to use some prototypes of 10 or 20 years in advance. Maybe you could still kind of mesh those in with some contemporary. You can use your imagination a little bit. If you go back into a historical setting, you have to be historically accurate, especially for a game like Battlefield that tries to kind of be quote-unquote realistic or, or, or accurate, um, you know, in, in all for the sake of kind of immersion. You can't really go and do a World War II um, game and then just bring, use some futuristic weapon. It's just going to break. It's not a Battlefield style. So I don't see this happening. Could it happen? Sure. They've they've kind of done it before. It's their roots. Uh, it's possible. But I think I just think the modern time frame, the contemporary combat setting, sells better. I think more people are interested in that. I think if you did a... Um, historic combat it would turn a lot of people off and vice versa if you did futuristic it would turn a lot of people off but i think most people kind of meet in the middle and they, they they're okay with the contemporary modern setting and like i said you can mix things in and out prototypes and futuristic type equipment uh you can you know as long as you don't go too crazy um it can mesh in and again i think it gives the developers the most flexibility so there's my thoughts again i don't know i haven't heard much in battlefield 5 i haven't really been paying much attention to be honest i've been focused on what's going on with battlefield 4 so thank you for your question buddy uh have a good weekend all right question four from decipher dear culprit in your opinion should the defibs be ditched in favor of a more competitive battlefield 4 or Battlefield in general, or do you think that they're an essential part of the core game? I do think they are an essential part of the core game. Uh, if you really think about it, there's not a ton of games that let you revive your teammates. 
Um, it, you kind of think there is, but there's really not. Um, and I do think it's it's part of the backbone of Battlefield. Uh, you know, Battlefield claims to be a squad play, team play game. Uh, I think uh, defibs are a huge component of that. It's it's one of the few things that you can't do yourself. You have to rely on other people. It's a huge team-based tool, and if you took those out, I feel like it would be even more random, even more solo acting. Um, I would put a lot of things on the list above it as a problem or needing to be reworked. Uh, just tweak off the top of my head. I would say, like, med bags. I would even go further with those and say, you cannot heal yourself with your own med bag. Like, if you have a med pack, it'll heal all your teammates, all your squad mates, um, but it won't heal you personally. You have to rely on a teammate to drop a med pack to heal you. That would be frustrating as a as a pub player, solo player, but I think that would you know again kind of go along the lines of defibs and cause you to rely on people a little bit more. So no, I wouldn't remove the defibs. I like them. I think it helps speed up play and things and all that. So I wouldn't want to see them removed. Now one caveat I'll say is I've always been a big proponent of letting the players choose, letting the server admins choose, make it toggleable, checkbox. You want defibs on this server? Yes, no. There you go. I mean I don't understand why they they have to have everything so hard coded in. Let us decide. Put all the options in, a, in an admin panel. Let me pick, choose, whatever I want. Make my custom server. You can have the ranked, you know, uh, official, unranked, whatever you want to, to delineate. But let me pick what I want to do a competitive match. You do mention competitive battlefield. Um, I can pick and choose and set the rule sets exactly like I want. They do this to a great degree, but they don't do it with everything. So uh, there's my feeling. I like the defibs. Obviously, I'm, I'm a combat medic player. Uh, I, I use these a lot. Um, so I would hate to see them go, but thank you for the question. Enjoy your weekend. All right So question number three is from Mario man 13 my question for you culprit uh, So it's coming up on the summer months Are you expecting to keep up the quantity of videos up as I'd expect you'd spend more time outside with your kids? Uh, yeah, absolutely, and I you know, I make no apologies for that. It's important to be outside especially, you know uh, in my roles as a father, I want my kids out. My kids love video games. They're going to gravitate to them. They already are. My oldest is, is all about it. We've got the PlayStation 3 with the Disney Infinity and stuff. He, he wants to play it all the time. I have to. I already have to throttle that and, and kind of um, be careful with that. So now that the weather's good, get outside. And they love being outside. And I love being outside with them. I need some exercise. It's all good. Um, will I keep up the quantity of my videos? Um, yeah, I think I should. I've, I've actually scaled back my videos a little bit. What you'll probably end up seeing is less of a schedule, though. Um... Quantity will probably be about the same, but you might see like Monday, Tuesday, and Friday instead of like I like to space them out right now. I typically do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then I, I sneak in at least one other one in the week and maybe one on the weekend. But you know, I, I try to keep my core three videos. I think I can do that. I've gotten pretty good at this. I've done 600 videos or something between my main channel and my secondary channel. I'm pretty efficient at it. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. The bigger question is will I have a lot of time to game? You know, video production is pretty easy. I, I could set things up and go and walk away. Uh, I don't get the big gaming sessions in the summer, so who knows? I'm working a lot. We're very busy with work outside. A lot of family things going on. Uh, it's hard to squeeze in the game time, so that is the. It's more the question of the gaming and, and getting that footage, basically. So uh, we'll see. Uh, time will tell. Uh, my intentions are yes. I would keep the quantity up. I would keep going. Couldn't tell you what exact games are going to fill that. I mean, it's, obviously, I hope it's Battlefield 4, um, but we all know the struggles that that game's had. I'm probably going to mix some other things in just for diversity and just having some fun. And, that, and that's going to be the focus of the summer, just having some fun, be a little more lighthearted. But yeah, thank you for the question, man. Enjoy your weekend. All right, in question four, I'm going to have apologies ahead of time. I'm, the, the name, I'm going to do my best. I hope it'll butcher it on you. Cheyenne Ihaz Khan. Really get it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, just out of curiosity, what does your son think of you playing Battlefield? Does he want to play it? Will you let him play it? Well, first, my son's five. My oldest is five. My, my youngest is two. Um... Does he want to play? Yeah, he does. He wants to do anything his dad does. He's definitely in that, in that phase. Um, he knows uh, I play Battlefield. Uh, he doesn't really see me ever play it, but he will see me editing or the render software will be up. And if you don't know what render, while it's rendering, it, in essence, the gameplay kind of plays on the screen in slow motion as the, as the software is rendering. So he'll sit here and he'll watch that. Uh, I try not to allow that. It is a little violent. Um, he's too young for it. Uh, does he want to play it? Yeah. But he also wants to play Minecraft. He also wants to play Disney Infinity. He wants, you know, so it's easy to distract him away. Um, so no, uh, the second part of your question, I will not let him play it yet. Um, at, there will be a certain age where I feel like he will be mature enough that I can sit down and have a conversation with him about it. That's not real. It's not right. All these things. I don't know when that is. And I don't, I couldn't tell you like there's an age that kids should be able to do that. It's up to you as in your kids where you think they are. I do think there is a danger there, a desensitization to violence. I, I do. Uh, it's up to me as a father to make sure that doesn't happen, and it's that simple. Um, there's plenty of other games, as much as I would love to play with him in, in a game like that. Um, I would, and that'll come in time, possibly. 
Um, there's just so many other games he can play. Like I said, Minecraft, Disney Infinity, the Lego series. I mean, we're having a blast with all those. So there's no reason to push that. Uh, he's aware of it. He sees Daddy doing it. I don't know that he's really ever seen me actually play it. Because like I said, I don't play it in front of him. But he's seen me edit footage, maybe watch videos on my iPad, that kind of stuff. So he's definitely aware of it. Interested. But he'll watch me watch League of Legends videos all the same and, and everything. So he, he's, he's turning into quite a little gamer. Not so focused on uh, Army Man is what he calls it. Um, so, yeah, but yes, he's aware of it. Yes, he wants to play it, but no, I won't let him play it yet. I, I couldn't really give you an age on when that's possibly going to happen. Long time, probably. Uh, probably several, several years from now, I would think. Just a guess, but we'll see. Uh, thank you for your question, man. And to wrap it up, we're going to go with question number five from a hero almost. Uh, question, since I'm almost a hero myself, I'm wondering, who is are your favorite superhero, if any, or your kids? Personally, it's got to be Batman. He's so badass. It's okay if you want to say my Sticks and Stones character. He's talking about my Timber and Stone series on my other channel. Great video always. Good to hear your thoughts. Well, he's talking about my Timber and Stone th uh, series where he's saying, if I want to mention him, uh, he was a, a soldier in uh, there. I, you know, I put subs' names into the game, and he really did awesome. Carried our little colony for a while. If you haven't checked it out, go over to my other channel. It's linked down below. Uh, it's a pretty cool little Let's Play. I enjoy the heck out of it, and uh, yeah, it's, it's good times. Uh, what are my favorite superhero characters? Uh, I was never a big superhero guy growing up. I wasn't. I was G.I. Joe, Transformers, you know, those types. Um, but my son is a superhero nut, now my youngest as well. So right now I'd have to say mine is um, Iron Man. Who doesn't want to be like a rich playboy billionaire that gets to invent suits and stuff, right? I mean, um, that would be pretty sweet. I do like Batman because he ba he's badass. Pretty dark though. He's got a pretty miserable life. So, you know, his parents are dead and all this stuff. So, got a pretty cool butler. That's pretty cool. Got a pretty cool house. Um, but if I had to pick one, I would pick uh, Iron Man, I think. Just, he's got a better lifestyle, in my opinion. I mean, he kind of does what he wants, and he's got more money than God. So, that's not too bad. <laughs> kind of lonely existence, I guess. But they all seem to be that at the same time. So, uh, yeah, I'd go with Iron Man, I think. So, uh, thanks a lot for the question. Thanks for carrying the Timber and Stones colony, buddy. I know you've since perished, but uh, we are, we're, we're kind of doing all right over there thanks to you but uh that's gonna wrap it up for today guys have a good weekend it's my birthday weekend we're gonna kick it off don't forget about the podcast tomorrow night saturday 10 eastern uh shenanig shenanigans will be had uh, a lot of good guys i'm looking forward to doing it i'm sure chat is gonna be very involved with this one it's gonna be a lot of fun uh pretty relaxed pretty much just about the lulls and i'm looking forward to it thanks guys take care